Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a strawberry trifle. It's a beautiful dessert. It's perfect, especially, actually it's perfect for any time of the year, but especially when strawberries are in season um, and they're really ripe and, and beautiful like these are right here. It's the perfect time to make a strawberry trifle. It's a really light dessert. I don't mean light in calories. It's a rich dessert, but it tastes very light. It's not heavy and dense or anything like that. So let me take you through the ingredients and then we will put it all together and get started. So I have um, vanilla pudding, my homemade vanilla pudding that I made the other day. It's on my YouTube channel, so look for it and make it. Do not substitute um, you know, the little packets of whatever is in there that you add milk to and, and make that you know, art, artificial vanilla pudding. Make it. It makes a huge difference and it's right here. I have my homemade whipped cream recipe, which you could also get on my channel. Just look for it. It's right there. I have some toasted almonds, some sliced strawberries, some lady fingers. And lady fingers are just um, dried up. That They've like baked a sponge cake. And we're going to moisten it with our simple syrup that I've already made here. And simple syrup is basically um, half sugar, half water that I bring to a, a boil. And once the sugar melts, that's it. That's simple syrup. It's great, especially if you're making like smoothies or drinks, like cold drinks, because sugar kind of doesn't um, dissolve that easily. And if you have simple syrup in your refrigerator and you add it to, you know, nice summer drinks like iced tea or something, it's, it's really nice. And it just sweetens your drink without leaving that sugary, you know, gritty taste in there. So all I did was I boiled my sugar and my water together. And once it, uh, the sugar dissolved, I shut off the fire and I added some vanilla extract. And to that, to make it a little more strawberry flavored, I'm just going to crush a few of these strawberries with my clean hand in here. One went in the almonds, but that's fine. I'll put that back in there and just stir it around. This has cooled down. I'm going to rinse my hands and we're going to put it all together. So trifles are super easy to make. You can make it in a big trifle bowl, which is basically a giant sized version of this little mini trifle bowl right here. You can get, if you have these little trifle bowls, that's fine. Don't go out and buy them. You know, fill up beautiful wine glasses or anything, any little, you know, cute little um, teacup that you have makes, makes this dessert beautiful too. And, um, I'm just going to use these two trifle bowls just because I have them. And what I'm going to do is take two lady fingers at a time and dip them in here in my simple syrup. And I don't want them to get soggy, okay? I'm going to cut them in half. That's why I do two at a time because I don't want them to get super soggy and then it'll just be mushy and gross. So I'll put two on the bottom just like that. I'm going to put some strawberries on top of that that I've already cut. And trifles are just layers of fruit and cake and some kind of custard with whipped cream. That's really all a trifle is. And you can make it with anything. You can make this with any fresh berries that are in season, mix them up and put them in here and it's just going to taste delicious. You could do blueberries or blackberries and strawberries. Um, really whatever you like are the lady fingers and it gets a little wider so you're gonna need like one and a half in your second row so if you're doing this in a big trifle bowl obviously you're gonna get more layers out of it but I'm just gonna do two layers in this bowl right here in this mini one these are individual size and I love uh, serving individual portion dessert especially when I'm having a gathering it just, it's just really makes everything really special. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of whipped cream, not whipped cream, vanilla pudding on top of that. Then I have my whipped cream that I've already made. And I have a pastry bag, a pastry bag with a star tip attached. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can just fill up a Ziploc bag, like, you know, a big uh, freezer, gallon-sized bag, and just snip the tip off. And if you have one of these tips, pop it in there. Otherwise... Um, a circle edge would be just fine with this. You could even honestly just dollop it on top. That would be great too. I'm just going to get a little bit fancy. It's really simple. So I'm going to sort of halfway fill up this pastry bag and roll it up and twist it. And then I'm just going to go in over here and just make little 
stars just by squeezing out the whipped cream and just pulling my bag up. Then we're going to take some more strawberries and just put them on top, maybe two, like that. And then I have my toasted almonds for some crunch. And that's it. It's a beautiful dessert, it's an elegant dessert, and it is so delicious and easy to make. I can't resist, there's no way I'm not gonna taste this right now. It's just calling my name right now, you guys. Go on my website to get the exact measurements for all of these uh, recipes in here and make this, put it together, serve this at your, serve this at your next get together, and it's gonna be a big, big, huge hit. My mouth is watering. Oh my God, it's so good. Especially from the crunch that the almonds make. It's just that added little element of surprise. I would honestly even sprinkle some cinnamon on top of this. Where's my cinnamon? I'm going to go get my cinnamon. You guys get the recipe and I'll see you guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.